one. Um, it's January 18th. Um, so I didn't have a big agenda for today. I feel like I always say that, like, I don't have a big agenda for today. And then we're like on a call for an hour, just chatting about everything. Um, but I wanted to talk about um, February group and what I'm doing for February and what I do every February and just share that <clears throat> with you guys. Um, feel free to use. And I'm going to just put my resources in um, the call recording um, because every February and now is like, and I wanted to talk about it today because these last two weeks of the month are key for like promoting for a new challenge group. And, um, anytime I do this group, I always get an immense response and, um, an invite to it and have a lot of interest. Um, and it's just something that I, I did. I started a few years ago and I've done it every month. And I think because February is a month of Valentine's. Um, you know, and it's, I know it's one day in the whole month, but I feel like it's a great time to take that month to like appreciate ourselves, self-love, um, and really focus on like, um, just things that we can do for other women to help other women, like learn to appreciate and love themselves. <clears throat> so I typically do a, um, like a 30 day ish. I mean, usually it's a four week group because February is a short month. Um, this year we have leap year, so we have one extra day. But if you look at the calendar, um, February, the first Monday is on the third and then the 29th is a Saturday. So it's a perfect four week group. And I plan on promoting this group, um, starting, I'll probably do a post tomorrow about it. Um, and then we'll continue to pepper in posts about this group for the next two weeks. So typically it takes people like six to 14 days before, like for them to see several of your posts before they really start to garner interest. Um, and it takes anywhere from like two to eight posts or conversations sometimes to really get them on board. So, um, so my goal is to um, post about it on Sunday, maybe again on Tuesday, like do a transformation Tuesday, something on Thursday, again on the weekend, and then repeat that pattern um, again until um, I've met my goal. So I plan on taking 14 women, um, Valentine's Day being on the 14th, um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some stories this weekend for a February self-love group. And I'll share that with you guys as well. Um, and give you my scripts for this group. So if that's something you want to, by all means, don't feel like you have to, but, um, I, I love doing this and, um, and I think, and Amanda, we haven't even really talked about it, but I think possibly doing that within our group, um, and then just bringing more people into that community because we had kind of talked about doing one giant group for the year and then running themed groups within that group. So um, I'm not, I don't want to have 12 different groups this year and try to manage everything. I feel like that's way too much and that's where stress and overwhelm comes in. But if you haven't started a challenge group yet this year, this is a really great opportunity to do that. Um, and it's a really great chance to, even if you have a free community, to invite from that free community to this. Or um, if you haven't done any kind of free community, doing something like that, um, you know, over maybe next weekend, like the weekend of the 24th, 25th, and doing like a mini self-love challenge or something. Um, and then saying, you know, we're actually doing this for the whole month. Um, of February and we're going to include a lot more and really focus on self-care and prioritizing um, prioritizing ourselves um, to do that. So um, so like I said, I do, um, I was trying to find my last year's group and I can't find it. Um, and I'm going to do a quick little screen share with you guys and just kind of show you a couple things. I thought you did it within the group. I don't think you did a separate one for it last year. Yeah, maybe that's because I know I keep looking for like old groups and I can't find them because I probably did them in my 2019 community last year. So this was my February or my February 2017 group um, and like a little cover photo. And then it was a small group, but 
it was, did I do it? Feb yeah, it was February. Um, I don't know why I have all these March posts in there, but there was a daily image and kind of like the mompreneur group. And then like a, just a post that we did. Um, and we did it with a book club and the book club that we did was, um, was a, I think we did, we always do Brene Brown, um, the gifts of imperfection, because it's like a good quick read and it's good, like teach you about yourself, like listen to, um, listen to yourself. So that's going to be an option. I'm probably going to just give people like three options to follow for that group. Um, whether they want to do a devotional, um, or if they want to do like a Brene Brown book. Um, but I really like the idea of doing a book club with it because I think that just adds a whole other, <clears throat> um, self love piece. So, um, Oh, my computer is frozen. Okay, there we go. But these daily images um, really were helpful. Um, and then there's like a little journal um, thing in there too. Um, and then little daily posts that they do, like post your Flex Friday pick, um, journal, like put something in your journal that makes you feel good about yourself. Um, and I just really enjoy this group because it's like, even though this group was small, I had people posting like every day pictures and um, it was just a really, I don't know, I, it's like a really good feel good kind of group. So, <clears throat> um, so that is my plan for the month of February. Um, and then, oh, here is that. Um, maybe it was, what? maybe it was this one, but there's all these images here. That's what you used last year. Okay. Um, I think I used it too. Yeah. So, um, have, do you remember that group, Kelly? Like, did you have a good, like a good response, good feedback? Um, um I don't recall, but I feel like I've done something like that, like sort of every year. I'm assuming yeah. that's what the mompreneur stuff is going to be too, right? Like that's her theme and everything. I haven't even looked. Um, she she sent out like a sneak peek yeah. and um, yeah, it's something about love yourself. Okay, cool. Um, there yeah. are also some, oh, there were some stories. Sorry, this is like, okay. off, but there are some stories that relate to this in um, Boss Babes. Oh, good. So you said you were going to make some to go with us this weekend. Yeah. There's some in there already. You are making some too. Um, you can make some like, yeah, I don't know, maybe more, you know, add with it. But they're like the basic, like, this is what you get. Here's my list of people. Type of I saw those. I, I know what ones you're talking about. They're really generic looking though, I thought. The ones in Boss Babes. Usually the stuff in there I really like. Hmm. Was it? Um, but the one that Mompreneur is Love Your Body Virtual Wellness Club. Yeah, that's what this is. <coughs> this, Amanda, is this what you're talking about? Yeah, I didn't like the, I mean, I like their content. I just didn't like the background graphic. Hmm. Like, here's what you'll get. Um, Netflix, nutrition plan, blah, blah, blah. Do you want results like these? And then there's like transformations. Yeah. I like the idea of not having to do it myself. <laughs> so I took them because I don't have time to do that myself. Right. Um, yeah. So, um, so February that, I mean, that's obviously like other people are doing that too. It's there's a theme. Um, how do you make it your own? Well, you share your own transformation. You share your own challenges. You share your own victories. Um, <clears throat> Maybe you go live and you talk about it. Maybe you do a series in your stories. Um, <clears throat> you create some of your own images. Um, you do your own posts um, and, and really like, and focus on like what book you're going to be reading and why you're going to be reading it and, um, and some really good personal development options um, and do a lot of like self-care stuff. Um, whether it's taking time to like sit and sip your coffee and read your book on a Sunday and say this, these are the kind of things that like making myself a priority is something that we're going to focus on next month in our self-love challenge or whatever you want to call it or, um, 
or, you know, teaming up with somebody else too. Like I know we're kind of doing some teamy type stuff, teamy stuff. <clears throat> um, but, um, but yeah, so that's my plan. Um, you can see other people are marketing this stuff as well. This is really the perfect time um, to start. This weekend is a great time to, like Sunday night is always a really good, people are on their computer, on their phones before they're going back to work on Monday, um, before they're starting their week. And sometimes it does take a little bit of time for people to make that commitment. So now is the time to post about it. Now is the time to market it. Um, now is the time to, you know, do the images, create your social media schedule for the next couple of weeks and say, okay, what days am I going to post about this group? How am I, you know, I'm going to have a Wufu application made so that people can apply. Um, I'm going to do a series of stories. Um, I'm going to keep a separate note page of the people that are interested in this group. So I have a list of people to invite from. I'm going to write down everybody's name who likes and comments on any of my posts that are related to this group. I'm going to send them an invite um, because what's the worst thing that can happen? I'm not going to die. I'm just going to talk to people and hopefully they're going to sign up for my group and then they're going to be our next badass friends that are showing up on our calls on Saturdays and rocking their workouts and transformation. So um, so I will be putting a social media calendar together for this week and I'll share that with you guys. Um, but I will keep my enrollment open until like that Monday, February 3rd for this group. And then I'm going to shift to coach recruiting for a couple weeks. And then I am going to start promoting the health bet group for the month of March. So um, you know, I know we're focusing on one month at a time, but having a plan so that way you don't feel overwhelmed um, is really important in this business. So I know that March, we're going to do a health bet group. We're going to do a $10 buy-in. If people are buying a new challenge pack, I'm going to waive their $10 fee. Um, they're going to have a chance to win the pot, split the pot, you know, top three people with the most body fat or body percentage, body weight percentage law, percent of weight, whatever it is. Um, the same thing that we do all the time. Um, <laughs> I don't want to do math this morning. It's too early for math. Um, but, um, but that's the plan for March. And we always get a really good response on these health bet groups. February okay. is cut month as well. So like there's a reason why we're doing a health bet in March because everybody's going to sign up in February. You've got to get on a team cup team. Um, and we're just going to hit some freaking huge goals for next month. So I intend to sign everybody up as a coach when they sign up to help continue to build my business. I am going to put my husband on a team and I'm going to get him to success club. And I'm, my goal is to build his business, um, as well as my own. So I'm setting some big, huge goals, hairy, scary goals for the month of February. Um, and I know that doing a health bet is, um, is going to help us get there. So what we've done in the past for a health bet group is a $10 buy-in if they're using bot and Shakeology, um, a $20 buy-in if they're not. People don't usually have a problem paying that $20 if they're not using bot or Shakeology, um, or if they're not use if they're only using one or the other. And then also giving them the option to do a like completion pack, um, and then that would waive their $10 buy-in. Like if they're like, oh, I've never, you know, I'm not using Shakeology. Okay, well, cool you can do it for this month for this group and it'll waive your buy-in and then it'll help your results. That's always what I tell people because your nutrition is more on track when you're using Shakeology, your muscles aren't as sore when you're using performance, so you can work out harder. Um, and then just encouraging them to get out of their comfort zone and try something new. Because when you are financially invested that much more, you're a lot more likely to commit to your program, commit to your nutrition and commit to better results. So. Does anybody have anything they want to add? For the <clears throat> March bet, I don't think we did measurements last year, if I'm correct. Are you, you're going to do that this year? Um, that? We did. I know we did percentage, but I don't remember if we did measurements when we did I think it. We, did. And we talked about how we wanted to add that. Yeah, I don't think we did for some reason. We just did, um, like we gave, we gave people the option. Like you can do your measurements so that way you have that for the end of the group. Um, but I would like, I think that's important too. I think that's a different transformation, you know? I mean, because oh, yeah. they don't lose pounds, they just lose inches and, or they lose three pounds and they lose 16 inches or something ridiculous right. like that. And 
Um, so I think maybe that's a separate, like maybe we pool together and do like a $50 gift card or a $25 gift card or, you know, a $25 gift card and like a tank top or something like that. Um, and that's the like most inches lost prize or something. So that way they're still getting something if they didn't lose the most body weight percentage. Um, yeah. I'm in for that. So it might be something, cause I know we, I feel like we're all running different groups. It might be something that, I don't know. Are we doing one big it health group or? I think we all did our own last year, right? I think we did, yeah, we all did our own last year. <laughs> I know we'll do that in the March or in the elite experience group. Um, but I think what, I think what we did was we did a message thread too. Like the people that are, that had signed up for the health bet had a separate message thread. I, somebody, I think it was a Facebook group. A Facebook group. I feel like we posted pictures and yeah. Okay. I, can't. I feel like we could run it within our usual group and then just create a message thread too. Yeah. That might be easier. Um, because I don't know that everybody's going to participate that's in the group, but, and that's probably the same for you guys. Like you may have people that are like, well, I don't want to lose, you know, 20 pounds. I, so it would be silly for me to whatever, but, um, but yeah, I think, um, I think we'll just kind of do that or just kind of get a, get a feel for our current group and say like what, you know, this is our plan for March and kind of talk, talk about that at the end of February, who's in, who would be interested in. Um, and then we'll just kind of keep track of, of that too. Um, so my plan is to like for every bit of stories that I do or like every list of like, I'm only taking, like my plan is to say, I'm only taking 10 new clients this month for like, and I think I said 14 for February. I might do 14. I don't know. I, if I have 14 people that want to sign up in the next two weeks, I'm going to take all of them. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think as for the purpose of like stories and for the purpose of like um, creating that FOMO, I think something like that is important to say whenever you do your call to action. I'm only taking 10 people for this group. And if 10 people are going to sign up with a challenge pack, hell yeah, we're taking them all. Um, but I think that does create that like, that FOMO a little bit. Um, what else we got? Anybody have any victories they want to share from this past week? Um, I survived five days without my husband and my nutrition was on point and my work has been great. So usually like I, you know, fall apart. <laughs> I'm like, this and then I just eat everything or drink all the drinks but I was that's more of a personal thing not a, so much a coaching thing but um that's a good victory for me uh, Ellie Josh Coates would say you can only lead from the front and you're an example so that is a coaching victory you're right who said that Sarah, Sarah? <laughs> can you hear me like, where's his voice coming from? Is that Sarah? Where's your face, Sarah? <clears throat> oh, well. Um, yeah, so, yeah, you're right. Um, I'm in my bathroom. In my bathroom. Oh. So you don't get to see my face. Nikki. Um, I do think that because I am <clears throat> doing better on my own personal journey, I am... I am doing better coaching, like as far as being more active in my group and like, because I'm really, really freaking trying. And so, and I'm like, I don't know, like, you know how the post this week for mom, mompreneur, however you say that is like, take the picture every week in the same outfit, you know, how you're supposed to do that. Like I've really been doing it. And like, I actually have to be really accountable and I really got some good results in the past like three weeks. And so all my challengers are actually doing it too. So I don't know. It's good. It's been good. So thanks for that, Sarah. <clears throat> um, 
my breakfast today is three fourths cup of yogurt and three cups of fruit, three whole cups of fruit. Just saying. Are you gonna like run on sugar all day? What? You're just gonna like run on sugar all day? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I, I think that's like one of the things that, I mean, like Sarah said, leading from the front, like when we're not working on ourselves, it's so hard to try to help other people work on themselves. <clears throat> And when we're not making ourselves a priority, like it's so hard to lead by example when we're not doing it ourselves. And I completely agree. Like um, taking better care of your nutrition, showing up in the group and saying like, look, this is what I ate today. Like this is what I really wanted to do, but instead I did this. And showing your, showcasing your own transformations, like yeah, show that. I've been tracking everything. Like yeah. these are all my containers. I write down everything I eat. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. I know it's been good and then people see that too and they're like oh well this is why she's getting results because she's doing this so maybe I should do more of this and like I'm over here you like share that on like your stories like your container account like that uh -uh. you should because I mean just like loud like on the app I forgot I think it's Melanie even that does it like shares what she tracks and she'll be like these are my containers I have left for the day yeah okay and you know what's funny too is <clears throat> this is unrelated to like posting about it but I um I'm eating in plan c because I'm nursing mm -hmm. and it's so much freaking food and I feel like I'm losing weight and I'm hungry every day <laughs> I'm so hungry at the end of the day. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why my voice is so scratchy. I'm like, I'm following him. <clears throat> and I'm not, I'm not always eating all my containers. I mean, it's five green containers a day. That's a lot. Um, but I'm freaking hungry. I'm like, how am I so hungry? <laughs> I was like, I'm planning. Like, I, <clears throat> I know. That's what I usually am, Amanda. Like when I'm. Like by the end of the day, I'm like, I'm not hungry. I can't eat anything else. It's hard. It's crazy. So. And then share that too, that it's so much food. Yeah. Like, so much. I mean, you saw what I ate this week. Yeah. You were like, damn, your food looks good this yeah. week. It's like, I know. I mean, maybe I'm just hungry because I'm over here doing the damn reset, but. <laughs> but like buffalo chicken to everything. Like, this was my, like, I'm going to share this shit this morning. Sorry. Three cups of fruit, though. That seems a little excessive. Like, I feel like I would be going to the bathroom at some point today. Totally. Like, <clears throat> my bowl of fruit and then a bowl of yogurt and all kinds of fruit on top of it. Like, that's, that's a lot of fruit. That's so much. My friend Heather is doing it, and I feel like you eat a lot of fruit throughout the whole detox. Like, one morning, it is just... She had like rows of like cantaloupe and like a ton of fruit, like a lot of fruit. I love fruit. I could do that. And like, I didn't even eat all of my dinner last night. Like mm -hmm. last night I had, it was like a third cup of brown rice. Um, I bought these and it's from the book, these like smoky tempeh strips. Like tempeh is like, sounds so gross, right? Like I've had some tempeh before that was terrible. Tempeh? Tempeh? I don't even know. Um, is it fish? It's soybeans. Like it's, yeah, it's like it's like fake meat, it's right? Like packaged soybeans, but the smoky strips are like bacon. Like they're like marinated. Um, so <clears> I had <throat> half of a package of that, and then I had half of a cucumber and like half of like probably like eight baby carrots, like chopped up in there with like some liquid aminos, and then I had this giant salad that's three cups of lettuce with half of a cucumber and like a tomato and like carrots <clears throat> and, and cilantro and this homemade dressing and then I also was supposed to have a cup of miso soup with that and I didn't even eat the miso soup because I ran out of time and I wasn't even hungry I didn't even finish my salad and I'm like I'm wasting food like I that should was a lot of food it's a lot of food and I'm still down three pounds this week and I'm not trying to lose but I started Wednesday I mean, are you working out too? I'm just doing bar. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm just going to keep doing bar. I mean, I don't intend to lose. I feel time. like you're just not doing bar. Bar is 
like as much as yeah like right like Like, i'm I'm sorry i'm dying (laughs) i love bar yeah i do too i just posted about it sarah when you say that what (laughs) we need to see your face when you say i love bar i i tracy i love bar i am just i'm so like centered Mm -hmm. with my rainbows (laughs) <laughs> I just, I really enjoyed it. Which was apparent in your voice messages, your messages to the group text yesterday. <laughs> you know what? In all honesty, I really did like yesterday. Like, I, and maybe because I just kept telling myself for 24 hours that I love bar before I pushed play. Yeah. I like every day, but the core day. The core day was the hardest for me. And, and maybe, and that was the day I quit on. Like, because I w- didn't go in mental. Like I, I was already crabby about it. And that was the day I quit. I was like, I did 15 minutes and I'm like, I don't want to do it anymore. That was me yesterday too. Cause I'm a day behind. So I have lean legs today. Um, oh, oh, oh. oh, you mean, I'm sorry. You mean lean, butt? it's all, butt. Mm. my butt and inner thighs today. Even stuff like that just because it like people I think I feel like people look at this program and they're like oh you're gonna do like three plies and like a sidekick and like twirl around like a ballerina and like that's not a workout or, or you could just, I feel the same thing like we do it and I'm like we just plie went back and forth three times but holy sore butt yeah <laughs> Holy like, sore butt. Yes. Yeah, like, like, I just posted about your butts. Has anybody seen my post that I just posted? No. no, but my butt and hamstrings are like so legitimately sore. I just posted that I need to start doing bar because everybody has a nice butt now. <laughs> my That's friends why have I, nice butt I, I know. Because Allison's doing it in our group and this group and I'm like, I, I, I can't fall behind. Behind. I had to run after a bus Tuesday or Wednesday to stop it because a student was on it that should not have been. Ooh, how'd that happen? I don't know. It wasn't even my kid. It was a first grader. <laughs> but after running, my legs were so sore and my gym teacher was like, you didn't even run maybe a half a mile. I'm like, I know, but my legs and butt hurt so bad from this morning. It's not just bad. Wait, you ran that far? <laughs> Oh, I had to sprint after a bus driving out of our parking lot. It's amazing that you ran that far after a bus. Oh, it was right. awful. Kelly, I'm stealing this post. Oh, really? Yo, yo. Hey, um, those of you who weren't on this morning, do you guys want to share the um, affirmations poll? Oh. The mm-hmm. what? So... You are, well, who wants to? Um, Caitlin was talking about her and Amanda. You guys are both like somebody posted about your affirmation cards and like doing a poll. And Caitlin had like 47 people respond on her poll, like real people, not bots, that like she was like pick a card and like had her cards face down and was like top or bottom. And then they picked, and then they, it was like, pick, I don't know. What did she do? I just did it on mine, and I've already had, I just did it less than 30 minutes ago. And I've had on Instagram, Amanda was one, but six people respond on Instagram, and on Facebook, I've had three people click on it, and they're real people. Yeah. So then I just send them a message of the card. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't get those cards order them from Amazon. I just ordered, um, <clears throat> the unicorn ones. Oh, uh, I, I like the private this message. sounds about right. Unicorns are there rainbows on them? But I feel like if yeah, I don't private not. message them and I just post it, then it really isn't as meaningful as me, like, sending a message. Yeah. To them. I love that. So, Did I'm you- sorry, can you start over? Because, like, what are you doing with these cards and why are they meaningful? <laughs> So they're no, for real. Like, how is this meaningful? I'm sorry. I know, but I'm not trying like to. Daily motivational cards, and they have like a quote, or I shouldn't say a quote, but something on it, like, like 
the two that I picked, it says I am worthy, and then it says I know my excellence, and I settle for nothing less. Okay. And the Can other I one see said, them? Will you show them to me? What do you got there? Okay. And then the other card I picked <clears throat> was I am positive. I think good thoughts and attract good things into my life. Okay, so then what did you do in your post? So I pick one every morning for myself and I share it. But on my post, I put them like a stack of them upside down and I slid two cards forward and I put like the letter A above one and the letter B. Gotcha. And then I had people vote on a poll. I said, your okay. turn, pick a card. And so then I can see the poll results, but I didn't post the pictures of these because then I private messaging people telling them here's your card. Happy Saturday. Hope you have a good weekend. Or like if they're local people, hope you didn't get like, I'm at least personalizing the message. Cause I thought, Oh, I could share it. But then what's the point of having someone vote on my poll? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I was wondering. Okay. They can see it. So I don't show them the cards. If you click through my stories, you'll see it. Okay. But I did look on Amazon too. Cause I was looking cause Cooper's been doing it with me and he really likes them. But there's no like good kid ones. And I found a really a lot of good motivational ones geared towards kids. And I think I'm going to create some because you can make them and they're not that hard and just print them on cardstock and laminate them. So if I do, I'll send you guys the files if you want to print You're them. You're such a teacher. That sounds like a lot of work to me. <laughs> but really, I don't well, I'm going to print them and laminate them. <laughs> well, when you have a laminator at home, it's not a lot of work. So these are the ones that, like, I think Caitlin and Taylor have these. And, and Emily got them too, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Emily got, they're like unicorns and rainbows. You but need those ones. I got the, dogs. Yeah. the card that I picked today is inspiration. There is a voice of inspiration within me. Right now it's only a whisper, but the more I listen, the louder it will get. Soon it will be a flawless speech voiced by James Earl Jones through a megaphone with lots of applause. So they're like supposed to be like funnier. Mm -hmm. um, and like Caitlin said, they're like filled with sass, which I was like, I, that's more of me than the bar ones. I didn't get the bar ones. Um, but I like that these are like, like I am like power. I am strong. I am grounded. I am powerful. I am like a cross, whoops, I drop it. I'm a cross between a dinosaur and a tank, but not a tank that is used for war. I like, I am like a peaceful, loving dino tank who feels so strong it doesn't need to do anything but be. <clears throat> so, cute. There's a bunch of, um, I was looking through Amazon and there's a bunch of different cute ones that are there, but I just texted you the, what these are. Yeah, um, I'm buying them now. And then there's like, They have like a work one. Oh, there's an affirmate. There's a family one. Julie. There is? Yeah. I couldn't find one like for littles. And I I get Reed won't get it because he's only three. But Coop has woke up every morning. Like he called me this morning from my parents and said, let's do my card. And I was like, well, oh, that's like so like, sweet. He's like pumped, but he can't, you can't tell anyone. Don't tell dad. We do it. It's a secret. Oh. And don't let him do it either. He's not allowed to do them. So. I feel like I need those for Nolan. <laughs> he thinks, Cooper thinks they're great. And I thought, you know what? Kindergarten can be, is exhausting and it's hard. <clears throat> and I feel like. So hard. Do I have to go? I really hate math. <laughs> but I'm like, if I can at least say it to him. And I always put notes in his lunchbox. So I've been rewriting it on his note in his lunchbox. Oh, I love that, Julie. So hopefully it. I got a lot of like comments and likes on that post too. And so then I just messaged people like, Hey, thanks. It's really like something easy to do. Like, even if you don't have it, it's words you can say to your kid. I love that. I'm going to have to buy some like kid friendly ones for him to do. Yeah. That's why I thought I'll make them because it can't be that hard. And there was like a list of like 60, daily motivational affirmation sayings. I mean, you said he's like doing fine with those, right? Oh yeah, but he's gotten pretty easy ones so far. Like I am successful, I am grateful, and I'm sure, but like I am centered, he'll be like, what the heck does that mean? Right. But there are some good ones in here, but I thought if I could make his own and- There's some on Amazon, they're, 
fifteen dollars, so it might be cheaper for you to make them for your own. Well, and I figured I can put animal graphics because that's what he likes. But if I just mm -hmm. make a blank template, then you could print them on colored cardstock or something for your kids. Um, too. You know what Amanda, I mean? Amanda, are the ones on Amazon that you're looking at are they for kids? Yeah, it is. Um, it's called Daily Positive Affirmation Cards for Kids. Encourage and inspire your children daily to increase confidence and promote a positive attitude. How many so, cards were in it, though? Um, 54. Okay. It's not too bad. Where did you find, did you find some? What? Did you find some kid ones? Mm -hmm. Here. I just they, posted. Are they these? Family yeah. Ones. No? Here are these. Like, I am thoughtful. I am going to do something special for someone today. I am happy. I'm going to write down three things that make me smile today. I am grateful. I am a great student. I'm going to finish my homework early today. Oh, yeah. My kids need that for sure. <laughs> I am one of a kind. I am gifted. I am a healthy eater. I can do anything I set my mind to. Oh, I am so perfect sweet. just the way I am. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people on Instagram, and I posted it 50 minutes ago. Nice. So if you have them, post it. You'll get a lot of traction for sure. To look at yours and Caitlin's, go back and look at Caitlin's stories too and figure out my shit. Because I didn't do that this morning because I was like, I'm too overwhelmed. I just got these cards. I just need to post about them first. <clears throat> awesome. All right, y'all. Um, anybody have anything else they want to add? Any victories? Anything you want to share? Sarah, I like your cup or whatever that sparkly thing is. It's pretty. Thanks. I forgot that I switched, switched cup holders. Um, I had a kid make it. His mom makes them. I got it for Christmas. And it looks like it's all glitter, but it's like, it looks like a pencil. And it says, the influence of a great teacher can never be erased. Mm -hmm. It's super fun. My neighbor just got a new tumbler, like spinner, so she can make those. And yeah. a maker. And I was like, we have a retreat coming up. I'm going to need all of the tumblers and all of the shirts. And she was like, okay, just come over and we'll just figure out what you want to do for designs and stuff. And we'll just get them made. And I'm Yay. like, okay. <laughs> and I have all the things. Like I also need all of them for myself and all of the things. So, um, so we'll just have to get, we'll all have to get together and figure out what we want to do for, if we want to do anything special. Um, all of my, well, as of right now, all of my working active coaches are coming, minus Ashley, and I need to send her a message. Yay. We're gonna have a if any of mine say yes from, like, if they commit to coaching from the coach group this weekend, I'll just pay their way for it all. As many people as we have, it's not even that expensive now. I feel like there's a ton of people compared to when we first started talking about it. I mean, I don't know if they would commit to coming or not, but if they do say, hey, I'm going to sign up as a coach, I would say, hey, this is what we're doing in September if you'd really go. And I was, I was going to say, if you're emerald, I'll pay half. If you're diamond, I'll pay the whole thing. Right. Same. So. Same. You hear that? Same. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do y'all hear that? If you're emerald, I'll pay half. If you're diamond, I'll pay full. Same. <laughs> and if you're star diamond, then I'll buy you a tiara to wear the whole weekend. <laughs> Give the tiara. But yeah. Not a cheap plastic one either. All right. I suppose I should go get my children. All right, I'm gonna drive my children to grandma's in the snow. All right, bye guys. Bye. All right, y'all. Have a great Saturday. Bye. Bye. bye.
them up and then I'll put these documents up too. I need to work out if anyone wants to stay on and hang out. I do too. <clears throat> All right. Bye.